Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick video to hopefully help somebody to um, do a part regen on a 2019 uh, Freightliner Cascadia. Um, this is an automatic. Um, in the beginning, it used to confuse the hell out of me when I first started, um, first started driving over the road on these newer trucks as I, because I've only driven older style trucks that was manufactured before um, 2010 11 before the um, dev system came into play but um, I remember with the manuals you used to put it in gear I can't quite remember how you do, did it but it um, confused the heart out of me the first time I I needed to do a regen I didn't know I didn't know what was going on but why my truck could only do like five miles an hour but I figured I'll do a quick video and um, maybe hopefully this can help somebody if they needed to do a force region on a um, or a part region on a Freightliner Cascadia on the newer models um, I don't know about the the other um, the other uh, trucks the newer models like the 2020 up to 2020 where we're now 23 and I don't know about the other makes and models because all these um, newer trucks, they rely a lot on um, electronics. So this is how you do it. You look at your um, cluster panel. Um, you got these buttons over here. And then you just press up there. There you can see where the truck is. You can see your scoot level is good. And then if you press the OK button, it should start doing the regen. I'm not going to do one now because I don't need need one so um i'm not even sure if it's going to be able to do it because i've never idled this truck before because i got an apu on here so i hardly ever idled it so i never had to do one myself but there you just press ok and then um i think your rpm should start climbing and that should um you should sit and wait till till it till it um it did what it's supposed to do See, it's easy as that. Thank you very much for watching.